In this video I'll show you how to fix your Hitachi remote control if it stopped working properly. This will work with many kind of a remote control, it doesn't have to be the exact one I have in my hands, it even works with the Roku one. For the first trick you have to remove the plate that covers the batteries on the remote control and remove both of the batteries from the remote. Then you'll have to locate the power button on the remote control, could be on the top left or top right side, and keep it pressed during 20 seconds. Next step is to press every single button of the remote control very hard. This will help if a button is stuck or if there are debris under it, since if a single button doesn't make contact, it can affect the whole remote control. Then when you're done, put back both batteries and try using the remote. Now if this trick didn't work, I have a second one that is very effective. Turn your TV off and unplug it from the wall socket. Now depending on the model you have, you may have a power button on the back or one on the front under the TV. If you don't find one, don't worry, just skip this step. But if you found one, keep it pressed during 30 seconds. Then you have to wait a full minute. If your TV didn't have a button, just wait one minute. And then you can safely replug your TV into the wall socket. And finally, if any of these tricks didn't work, I really suggest you to replace the batteries with fresh ones or to get a replacement remote control. They are usually cheaper than you think. I've put some links down in the description below so you can check them out. And if you have a Roku TV, there is an app that will let you control your TV so you can download it while you wait to receive your replacement remote control. So thanks for watching, I hope this was useful and don't forget to like and subscribe and even leave a comment if you enjoyed watching this video.